I, I ain't got nothing on but these tennis shoes and my undershort. I give him the grease. And uh, I tell him to put some on his finger. Stick it in his ass and, and you know what I'm saying, kind of like himself. To loosen himself up because I know he had never been penetrated before. It was his first time. Just an old penitential trick that I learned from some old convicts. If he screamed rape, you know what I'm saying? He had grease on his fingernail. So he greased his own self up. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to basically lie and tell him I've been f He's been my boy. Hell, they going to buy it. You know what I'm saying? Hell, I'm going to go to the extreme and get four or five other guys to lie and say I've been f him too, been taken care of. Him. He's been my boy. But I said, what if I take this knife and stab it right through your face? I said, well, you like that? So he like, he's scared now when he see this knife, you know what I'm saying? They uh, had a knife to my eye and one in my throat right here, my jiggler. And I'm telling I can just feel them, you know, sticking me. And if, like, if they put any pressure on it's going to cut me wide open, you know? I go to f you know what I'm saying? Slowly at first, you know what I'm saying? And try to loosen him up. And it was tight, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, he was a, definitely a virgin. He's groaning and... You know what I'm saying? Moaning and then and, and telling me how it hurts. So, you know, I, I bag out a little bit. At this time, uh, my dog, he at, the, he at the door. You know what I'm saying? He's standing in front of the cell. So he's like, man, come on, man. God damn. Go on, hurry up, man. Let me, I want to get straight too. I said, well, come on. I get up off of him. I'm in the middle of it. Now I'm there, so I can't, I can't welch out now. You know what I'm saying? I got to go on, go through with it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm like stuck, stuck there in here with him. He greased himself up. He shows him uh, <laughs> no mercy. Um, he f him for real. You know what I'm saying? So I had to tell him, hold up, man, you know, slow down, chill out, man. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to hurt him for real. You know what I'm saying? And he had to go to the hospital and, you know what I'm saying? That's going to automatically, he's going to automatically have to say what happened. He, he has sex with him first. Then I have sex with him. Then he has sex with him. I have sex with him. Then he has sex with him. And then that was the end of it. So I didn't finish it first. You know what I'm saying? So I fucking, you know, I come off. I get my due. Next day, you know what I'm saying? He, uh, he goes to SEG. Uh, in prison, that's lock up. So I'm like, in my heart, I'm like, damn. We through. We didn't got us a rape case. They was telling me. But like, you know, if you get in trouble, so we're going to go up there and lie and say you brought it on yourself and shit like that. And I was believing them. They had me in a position where they had me spooked. You know what I mean? Because I was looking to make parole and everything, and I wasn't trying to get in no conflict. I said, you got two choices. You can either be with me, or you can go pack your shit and go tell them folks to lock you up. You go back to lock up. Reluctantly, Matt agreed to become another one of Mark's boys. Only thing I ask of you, don't try to make me be like a, a sissy, a girl inside of prison. We hook up, you know what I'm saying? Everything was lovey dovey, you know what I'm saying? Uh, relationship was gravy, all good. You know? I transferred. The warden had Mark shipped out of limestone again, but everyone knew Matt had been turned out. The other men all wanted their shot. And he got this other dude. You know what I'm saying? He wound up having sex with him. He was doing so bad. So he wound up selling him to another dude, and that dude wound up selling him to another dude. And all this, what he was going through, was a result, because nobody messed with him. He was a blood. He just went crazy. He just went to sleeping with different guys. I mean, just, just tossing his up. You know what I'm saying? They knew everybody. It was just something that happened in the penitentiary that I left in the penitentiary. I mean, even the girl I got now, I mean, She's a fucking fox. I can't, I mean, I can't lose her about some humbug shit, you know. I mean, if I can keep it for my family for, I done four and a half years, and then now I'm out six months, and they still don't know, have any idea, I don't think it'll be a problem. And they ask me questions all the time. Well, how was college like and shit? I guess the penitentiary made me a real good liar. If he stayed gone for five, six years or whatever, if he ever come back to prison, and there's someone in prison that remember him from then, he will always be a boy.
both sides of the word. 3632? 3632, please. I'll try these on, see if they fit. Uh, thank you. Robbie Craig filed a suit against the state of Florida. I said I'd like to be interstate compacted to closer to my family. I, I wasn't interested in any money. I went out of the state of Florida. He settled for a transfer to the Iowa State Penitentiary System. A chance to leave his past behind. You go, dog? Yep. There's a young a boy that's here that's 18 years old. They call him the kid. And uh, the kid I've seen a few different times in the wrong crowd. I've extracted the kid from that crowd, done what they call taking him under my wing if he needs something. But see, I'm not a daddy. I'm doing this from my heart. I'm doing this for him because I know that um, somebody's going to try him. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine. I think Sergeant Anderson, he believed that I, my, my respect for authority was so intense and so obvious that he could uh, use his authority to get me to do things. Uh, he came to us. Uh, Damn, you Randall from recess. You tell a lie. I'm like the Weight Watchers. I use my scale a lot. Stop window shopping wall packs. You gonna be a seller or not? You ain't never seen no bullets at him or trailer out. My bitch remind me of RJ. She always trip. They get into it with us to turn the sauce chips. They always dip. It. Yeah, we could do the same shit, but I say it different. My young boys Jehovah Witness. They be paying visits. Are you a player like you say you was for that pussy you paying pimping? Everything I put out so raw, you just can't sniff. I got the best O line, even on goal line, you can't blitz it. You're not a hustler, you keep getting front of you just can't flip it. You ain't really got a UP Diddy, you be remixing. Oh, where just got a new Glock? <laughs> That's a free biscuit. Penny Tupac know what's up, we know on the mill ticket. They probably feel your music a little more if you real with it. I get that sniff sniff and put my heel in. You have PlayStation party meetings, I'm about real big. I'm a SCD, I'm here, you don't like it, gotta deal with it. I don't like Hey, let me ask you this. Why would you want to live in a place where you're excited about cold water? If you get cold water, you're excited about it. You want cold water so bad, you'll take put water in an empty milk carton, wrap it up, and put it inside a toilet where you defecate it because you want cold water so bad. Like the first time you can get some ice, it make your whole week because you had something. Why would you want to live somewhere like that? You know what I'm saying? Why you want to live at a place where